Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP EliteBook 845G10. If you want to open this device, you have to undo only five captive Phillips head screws. Then, raise the bottom panel in one of the two zones that are near the top corners to create a small gap between the base and the plate. With that out of the way, you can pry the panel with a thin plastic tool starting from the back. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. There is a small thermal pad on the inside of the bottom plate for cooling the WLAN card. In our case, HP forgot to peel the protective tape and the pad isn't making direct contact with the Wi-Fi module. This notebook has the optional 51.3 watt hour battery. The base version is a 38 watt hour variant. If you have to remove the battery, pull out the connector from the motherboard and undo the four Phillips head screws that fix the model to the base. The optional capacity is enough for 12 hours and 30 minutes of either web browsing or video playback. The result is very good. To achieve that, you have to select the HP Optimized Modern Standby Power Plan that can be found in the Control Panel's Power Options submenu. Also, you have to apply the balanced preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu. The W1 slot is for optional LTE or 5G connectivity. For storage, you get just one M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The pre-installed NVMe has a thermal pad on the top that makes contact with the metal bottom plate for better cooling. We can spot another pad below the SSD. The RAM section is protected by a metal shroud. Memory-wise, there are two SODIMs for up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. The cooling system has one sizable fan, a heat pipe, one heat sink, and a heat spreader.